This is one of four Oberg passes in South Africa and it's a well-designed 7,3 km long gravel pass linking the town of Montague with the Karoo Highlands and remote towns like Sutherland, Maikisfontein and Tozrafir as well as providing access to the fabulous Anaisberg Nature Reserve. With respect to the other three Oberg passes, there are two in the Northern Cape, one near Sutherland and the other near Gifberg and the fourth one being in the Eastern Cape near Graf Renet. The pass is a perennial favorite with off-road clubs and touring bikers, but due to its good design and reasonable gradients, it is suitable for all vehicles. The upper part of the pass near the summit is sometimes mapped and referenced as Kopi Senek or Toliki Support. Both of these names are not proper passes or ports, and they fall within the geographical range and distance limits of the Oberg Pass. We filmed this pass from north to south in the descending mode. It is a beautiful pass, gently sweeping through the magnificent Cape Fold Mountains from the arid plains of the Karoo. The summit of 1014 meters above sea level is sometimes peppered with snow in midwinter. The gradient is fairly steep at 1 in 14 and a speed limit of 60 km per hour is appropriate. It drops almost 500 meters in altitude over 7,8 kilometers and ends at the intersection to the African Game Lodge and Mont Eco Reserve. The pass provides access to some wonderful weekend getaways for Cape Townians like Gecko Rock, Witteberg Private Nature Reserve and the Arnaisberg Nature Reserve which is run by Cape Nature Conservation. In very wet weather, like all gravel passes, this one too can become dangerous. For ascending vehicles, and in particular smaller front-wheel drive cars, these might experience traction problems when the surface becomes slippery and muddy. Similarly, descending vehicles can easily go into an uncontrolled slide when conditions become muddy. For the vast majority of the year, the pass is dry and easily drivable. The Karoo is prone to flash floods, and when the rains do come, they do so in dramatic style with large volumes of rain falling in a very short period. This pass and its twin pass, the Langkloof Poort, which follows it lower down, is subject to regular flood damage and road closures. In flash flood conditions, never risk your life by driving over a flooded causeway where a strong current is flowing. Rather do the ultimate test, which is to get out of your vehicle and walk through the river along both proposed wheel tracks to test the depth and underwater objects or holes. If you're not willing to walk it, then don't drive it. With a strong current flowing, there is a good possibility that your vehicle might get washed downstream with possible fatal consequences. There are no formal bridges along both of these passes and the river crossings consist only of a concreted surface where water levels can quickly reach a depth in excess of 1 meter. Once you've completed this pass, as well as the Langkloof Poort Pass, you'll arrive at the small town of Montague, which was named after the secretary of the Old Cape Colony, John Montague. The town is located at the confluence of the Casey and Kingna rivers. When these two rivers flood at the same time, it leads to devastating consequences to the town. At one point in the lower third of the pass, the road passes directly through a small farmstead. The farm is preceded by a cattle grid and you should slow right down here as you approach the old dry packed stone walls as there are often dogs and livestock roaming about as well as small children. In addition, it is a small courtesy to the farmer to slow down and reduce dust on his home and crops. At the end of the stone wall, there's a very sharp left-hand bend, followed by quite a deep drift. This is followed by another five crossings of the Kingna River. After the farm at the five and a half kilometer point, the gradients ease off considerably to a much more gentle one in 50. Along this final two kilometer section, there are some beautiful geological formations. Montague was founded on the farm Eitflucht in 1851 and is well known for its hot mineral springs and scenic mountains. It's also an agricultural center where orchards and vineyards are in production and local herbs are grown. The well-known farming area called Koo lies north of the town and is famous for the quality of its apples, pears, apricots and peaches. Nearby rock formations make it one of the country's major rock climbing venues. The 1,266-meter-high Blopent Peak overlooks the village and offers several hiking trails as well as cloofing and mountain bike trails further afield. Montague is close to the Robertson Wine Valley 
and is most easily reached via the Route 62 scenic route.